I love pretty. What's up socials, happy sexy Wednesday. If you've been around SavvySexySocial.com lately, you may have noticed that the website looks a little bit different. Yes, that's right. On Monday, I relaunched the website with a brand new theme. I would call it a new layout, but it's actually pretty much the same layout if we're just being real about it. The theme is brand new and I made some tweaks and made it like really excitably pretty in my opinion. I hope you agree. Most importantly though, the website was not mobile friendly for a really long time. I've just always gone with a theme that I really, really like and if it wasn't mobile friendly, I just figured whatever. Smartphones are really smart and they're gonna pull up my website no matter what and you're gonna be able to see what's going on. But that's just really not the most mature way of thinking. Uh, I better go and look for something that's mobile friendly. But it's really hard to make that jump to a new theme because you really have to go bottom up to re format the whole thing, especially when you have upwards of 700 blog posts like I do. So the theme has to be really worth it. So today I just wanted to suggest the hub that I always check for the best WordPress and other types of website layout if you're looking to redesign what you've already got or something that you might be creating in the future. Themeforest.net is the only place that I go. There are definitely a lot of themes that are specific to WordPress that are brilliant and super customizable, but honestly, you still need a designer to make most of them look really amazing. And if you use the basic version of all those expensive themes, they look a lot like what the database in themeforest.net looks like. And if you're like me and on a small business budget, you need to make something easily, simply, and pretty from the beginning, not taking a whole lot of customization. So the theme that I just updated to and any theme that I've actually had on SavvySexySocial.com has come from themeforest.net. There are just so many options, especially when you go to the WordPress section and then you say, this is a business website or is it a blog or is it a portfolio site? You can make those specifications and you can see an even more specific list of things. And then what I like to do from that point is rank according to price, if that's important to you. And then from there, you're definitely gonna wanna take this step order everything by how many ratings it has. Because if something has a high number of five star ratings, you know immediately that it's going to be a pretty good theme according to a lot of people. Going after a theme that looks really good, but it's really hard to know what it's like on the back end, especially if it has no ratings or crappy ratings, you should pretty much just knock those off your list altogether. I promise you, you won't be happy with your purchase. But what I like to do is put it in order by rating and then I'll look at price point, which you can usually get a really good theme for around 50 bucks and that's, I paid less than that for the one that I have. I'm so excited about it. But then, this is the best part. This is my biggest tip. You can always look at a live preview of these themes. Most developers have that ready to go no matter what. The button's right there, click it. But what I like to do is go into the comments of the theme purchase page and see what kinds of questions people are asking. Because if you see a continuing theme of a problem that the theme has and it turns out to be something that's really important to you, you'll know right away to steer away. But I also love when people are leaving comments and saying to the creator of the theme, will you look at my website and tell me why it's doing this? Because it, when you go to somebody's website who actually has installed the theme and probably isn't a designer and is having all the same hardships you might have, it's a way better way of looking looking at the theme from a really objective point of view rather than the perfect point of view that a live preview is gonna give you. Both are great to see before you download something, but specifically when you see what it looks like in the wild when a normal person gets their hands on it, that's how you know whether or not you're gonna like it when you get it. That being said, they always send you information and style sheets and short codes to embellish the site and make it way better and make it yours, but still a really, really good thing to do before you make a purchase. Definitely check out themeforest.net if you are in the market to redesign your site. And don't forget to check out Bluehost, who is our sponsor of Savvy Sexy Social. Especially if you're getting ready to launch a new site or you're transferring to have a better site, they are the best WordPress host you can find. And if you go to SavvySexySocial.com slash Bluehost, you'll be supporting the show. So it's like a win, win. Win, win, win. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, this has been your Sexy Wednesday episode, and I appreciate you being here. Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat. That link is in the annotation below, and it will take you to sign up for the newsletter where you'll get all the videos and the podcast and any other fun stuff, especially a personal note from me that I only send to email subscribers. So check that out, and I will be back tomorrow for Social Thursday.